I think in this first season, there's a lot of things that were going on that, you know, that with it being brand new that, you know, I hadn't experienced before as a coach. Let's go middles. Let's go middles. Laura, good adjustment. Stay behind the ball. I coached in the conference before, so I was really familiar with the volleyball scene in PA. And, you know, I'm from Pennsylvania originally, so I, you know, have some good connections and just kind of went off of those. That's our move, right? We've been doing it for months. We're short right and we're deep left, so a deep ball to my left should not be surprising, right? Let's go. Come on. They're out of system 60, 70% of the time at a minimum. We have to do some kind of sixes, right? This is our chance. I want it to be fun. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to enjoy every day. All right? But we need to learn how to be able to enjoy it and do the work. Okay? And that's going to separate us down the road when we figure those things out. So that's what we're after here today. Okay? So Dan reached out to me um, via email. He found me, um, watched some game film of mine. Um, and then we emailed back and forth a little bit, narrowed down my schools, came for an official visit, um, toured, did everything, and I just fell in love with Bloom. We had a new girls program, and I hadn't even looked at the school, so I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. Um, ended up emailing Dan, and came and visited, so it actually worked out pretty well. He basically said I would, I would benefit the team if I was on it, so I kind of took that as, okay, I'll be able to play here. Word got around that they were um, inducting a volleyball team, and I knew like my coach was like obviously looking around for another coaching job, and it was kind of a running joke, and then it actually happened, and I thought it over, I thought it'd be a pretty good opportunity to take up, so here we are. <laughs> that first home match and getting ready for that was pretty exciting, and seeing how many people were excited about it and just the general interest on campus and the number of people that came up to me in different, you know, from faculty to staff to students to, you know, other athletes, other coaches, everybody just talking about how they're, you know, looking forward to that. Probably right when we walked into the gym, it really hit me. I was like, like, it was so surreal. I was like, I am about to play in like the first, like not just my first game ever, but like the first game ever for this whole program. I would definitely say nerves were pretty high that night. Um, there was a lot of hype around the game, which was amazing. We had the support of the community and staff here at Bloomsburg. Oh, that was fun. It was, it was a blast though. Walking into a gym that's full of people there for the right reason, it's nothing that you get anywhere else. I mean, high school is a little bit different, but they, I mean, they wanted to see it succeed. It was awesome. I think in this first season, there's just way too many to, to count and pinpoint. Everybody across the board made a ton of improvements and, and matured and learned what it's like to be a team at this level. Something Dan kind of like put in our heads is just like, that's six more wins than we should have had. Because like as a brand new program, everyone said like, they're gonna be the worst. They're not gonna win. Like no one wants to be beat by a first team, like first time program. But like we did it. Winning our first set at Lock Haven in five, um, well our first game I guess not set. That was pretty exciting. It was a good it was a good atmosphere, but I mean everything this season was kinda something to remember in its own life. So and there was a play that I made and I remember looking at everybody and one of my close friends, she was like, That's why you're here. And it was like kind of that recognition that you need and especially like how you're making a difference. And I, I just remember that moment because I'll never forget that expression. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Being part of like this first year program has taught everyone so many different lessons and given us all a different experience to take away from it. In our lowest moments, it was like, but we still have won something. Like we've still made so much progress that it was just like we had to keep going. I don't want anyone to not know how appreciative I am of being here and this opportunity and, and these kids have been outstanding. They've just been wonderful to work with. It was it was a great season. Like this between the coach and the families and the community involved, like especially the athletic department, like the support was unreal here. And I think that's something that you can't trade for the world. So. <laughs>